Many people the world over believe that life exists or once existed on Mars. While we found direct evidence of liquid water on the red planet, we have yet to find any microbes there. But not all hope is lost. New discoveries from NASA's Curiosity rover has brought forth more compelling evidence of life on Mars. Researchers studying Curiosity's data say the rover has detected boron in the 3.8 billion year old Gale crater. Boron is an element that can catalyze the formation of RNA, the single stranded carbon copy of DNA found in all living cells when dissolved in water. The boron was discovered in calcium sulfate mineral veins suggestive of ancient groundwater, so the team believes this could mean at least some of the water once present in the Gale crater had conditions favorable to the emergence of life. Since the 1960s, hoaxes have believed the moon landing was fate in order for the United States to win the space race against the Soviet Union. Others believed it was to increase NASA's funding. In the 1970s, NASA launched two spacecrafts called Viking 1 and Viking 2 on missions to Mars. Those spacecraft photographed the surface of Mars and sent images back to NASA. Ever since then, conspiracy theorists are certain there's inhabitants on Mars. A recent find by NASA on the 22nd of December 2016 found a large amount of underground ice, as well as long streaks of damp soil which means there is water on Mars which was once thought to be dry and uninhabitable. This is significant in that it means that Mars is capable of being the home to microorganisms, and therefore life in general. This is not to suggest there is life on Mars, just that it is now possible there could be. Scientists also found proof of complex forms of organics, the type of which contains carbon, the building block of life. Mars trees and shrubs, David Leonard in an article for Space.com said the following. Grey fuzzy spots appear in the bottom of the ice cover on Mars. By the middle of the first half of spring these spots become darker and bounded, and grow in size. By early summer defrosting the naked dark soil of the dunes is visible, and surrounded by a lighter ring. Year after year the dark dune spots renew on the same place with almost the same configuration. This repeat action the team asserts strengthens their suggestion of fixed biological causes of spot formation. The Hungarian scientists conclude this strongly suggests the life cycle of some kind of plant life. NASA and its associated research teams don't agree with the conclusion. Their theory is that the dark spots are the result of springtime defrosting processes on Mars, not science of biology. There is a long history of seeing animal shapes on Mars, the red planet being an especially attractive target because it's so tightly associated with the search of life in space, and because we have just so many pictures on the surface to dig through. Conspiracy theorists zoomed in on a portion of a panoramic photo taken by NASA's Curiosity rover in September 2012. These viewers spotted an object that looked like a rat lying between two rocks. While it's a creative idea, the Mars rat is highly unlikely, scientists have said. The red planet has extremely cold temperatures, it's baked in radiation and lacks a thick protective atmosphere like Earth's, making it an extremely hostile environment for life. But there are those that believe these animals have been taken to Mars for experiments. NASA's Mars rover has shot some very interesting things on the red planet's surface. Those who follow its findings has woken up to one particular screen of footage. The shot seems to show what could be the skull of a dinosaur. The footage was shared online by Marie via her YouTube channel. She said the following. This artifact is definitely a creature skull, possibly a dinosaur. I think it could even be a wild horse. She goes on to share that she hasn't added anything to the footage except from colour. The publication then goes on to say that Marie took the raw images from the mast cam on NASA's Curiosity rover. The image does appear to be the skull of some sort. Marie even said that I've pointed out areas like the mandible and maxilla, as well as six other points of reference. This proves it's not a weird shaped rock. The mandible and maxilla are bones found within the skull, particularly in the jaw area. Other than this, the footage also seems to clearly show a row of teeth as well as an eye socket for the creature. At this point however, nothing has been confirmed. 
While we found direct evidence of liquid water on the red planet, we have yet to find any microbes there. But not all hope is lost. New discoveries from NASA's Curiosity rover has brought forth more compelling evidence of life on Mars. These are without doubt the most fascinating objects photographed on the surface of Mars. They look like long translucent tubes supported by rows of bright arches. A lot of people have seen these strange structures and have tried to speculate as to what they might be. Some would say these are huge water ducts funneling water from one area to another. Others are firm in thinking that these are some sort of natural geological anomaly only occurring on Mars. McCann and Joseph P. Skipper, both researchers into Martian anomalies call these images the smoking gun to life on Mars. The image was discovered in June 2000, among the many images posted to Marlin Space Science System, which has tens of thousands of Mars pictures available for online viewing and examination. Skipper says these structures are actually in excellent condition. Note their general uniformity in the uniform spacing of the bands or ridges. Note how one structure here clearly attaches to another, and note the shiny round terminating end at the junction point clearly defining it as a constructed hard object, as opposed to a natural geological formation of some kind. Note how at least one or more of the ridges span around both structures tying them together at the junction point clearly demonstrating construction technique. Note the apparent translucent composition of these structures, and how entirely alien they clearly are to geology. There can be no question that these are constructs of some kind. But what made it or who and for what purpose? It's one of the most incredible images that has ever come from space, and there has been no official comments on it whatsoever. The tower seems to show a tall tower or stack with a white tip casting a long shadow. If it's indeed a tower of some kind, it stands at an incredible 6.3 kilometers high, 12 times higher than the largest skyscraper on Earth. Could these structures be optical illusions of natural geological formations? Of course, but to dismiss them outright as not being artificial in origin is just as unscientific as declaring they are created by intelligent beings. The suggestion that they are artificial is such a large claim, but these images should be examined carefully and with skepticism, but also with an open mind. These images of artificial structures could dissolve into natural formations with more detailed high resolution photographs. This photo of a mysterious object on the surface of Mars was snapped by the Mars orbiter from 165 miles up. It appears to show a freestanding geometric block of undetermined height. A scientist from the University of Arizona is quoted as saying, In reality, it's more likely that this boulder has been created by breaking away from the bedrock to create a rectangular shaped feature. If so, where is the bedrock from which it has been broken? Where is the stone that fractured off to create this shape? The object seems to be standing quite on its own on a plane of soil. We cannot say if it's an artificial creation, but we can add it to the growing list of peculiar Martian anomalies. Groundhogs, also called woodchucks, are large rodents. They are also one of the 14 species of ground squirrels. In fact, they're the largest members of the squirrel family. From head to rump, groundhogs are 17 to 24 inches long. They weigh around 13 pounds, which is about twice the average weight of a newborn human baby. Like other squirrels, groundhogs have tails that grow around 7 to 10 inches long. These round creatures look like little bears when they stand on their hind legs. Groundhogs also have large claws they use to dig impressive burrows in the ground. A groundhog's incisors grow about a sixteenth of an inch each week to keep up with their eating schedule. Scott C. Waring was convinced he spotted a groundhog in a picture of the surface of Mars. While many offered the simple explanation of an oddly shaped rock, the investigator was determined this was a groundhog. Another supposed animal spotted on Mars was this snake. Recent news surfaced suggesting that an alien snake was spotted on an image of Mars taken by NASA. NASA released high resolution images of the red planet showing rocky formations similar to that of national parks in the US. However, instead of studying the rock formations, conspiracy theorists claim they saw an image of an alien snake lurking between the crevices of the rock formations. 
from the enhanced photo an image of a long figure that resembles a snake descending the rocks were circled and highlighted to show people there was indeed something in the photo. Conspiracy theorists say the photo is enough evidence to prove there is life on Mars. However, NASA continues to deny the allegations. In 2010, something that looked like a monkey showed up in a photo taken by the Mars Spirit rover. The photo was taken in the Gusev crater. This was a crater that's believed to have once been filled by water. The photo created quite a buzz among alien enthusiasts. It sort of looks like the body of a gorilla but with the head of a squirrel monkey. The sampling of a small amount of Martian sand was slightly delayed while scientists puzzled over unusually brightly coloured flecks in the hole carved out by the Curiosity scoop. Initially, the team believed the bright flecks were shed by the rover, similar to bits of plastic debris. They did not rule out the possibility, but most of the team now believe they're naturally occurring, perhaps a mineral that was fractured by the rover's scoop. To be on the safe side, scientists commanded Curiosity to dump that sample and collect sand from another site. They would then take the sample for processing in the onboard laboratory. The aim is to get an ingredient list for minerals in the Martian soil. Richard Cook of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said the following, We definitely are more aware of what's out there now, and are more careful about everything we look at. This crab-like object was seen on Mars in late July 2015. When this photo was uploaded, it reminded many people of the facehuggers from the movie Alien. When the photo is blown up, we can see what looks like eight legs, just like crabs on Earth. The strange creature does look out of place hanging from the wall of the rock. Many people have argued about its size, with guesses ranging from a few feet to the size of a car. But NASA scientists have hit back and said this is a case of pareidolia. One scientist stated that people who want this to be true are going to see what they want to see, but conspiracy theorists are sticking with the crab theory. So what are all these objects that people are seeing? The brain has evolved to be able to distinguish faces and other significant objects in crowds and within the environment in general. This is known as pareidolia, and it's claimed that humans use this to enrich the imagination, and to see things that are simply not there. Another theory contends that humans cannot deal with logical gaps, and thus tend to make up things in order to maintain a stable framework. It's difficult for many to admit they do not know or are not sure about anything. Thus, alternative theories are invented to instigate themselves as a person who knows the way things actually operate, as opposed to dealing with the fact that the typical human knows relatively little about space, physics, or extraterrestrial life forms. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.